<laughs> Next up, where'd you go? There you are. Pandora Ballad, come on up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, I have to explain this poem because it, there's a lot of Jewish reference in it, and I'm going to probably kill the language when I say it, but anyway. This is, um, um, okay, first of all, a shiva is uh, it's a Hebrew word for seven, and that's the number of days that you grieve when someone's died. Um, I mentioned the first degree mourners, and those are the seven... Uh, closest relative, which are father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister, or spouse. Okay, a kariya, or kariya, I'm not quite sure how you say it. It's a tear in the garment, which you make is made at the funeral by the first degree relatives, and is not mended for the duration of the shiva week. And then a mitzvah is a religious act, and um, kaddish is the prayer for the dead, which is recited um, for one month by the synagogue and 11 months by a parent. So anyway, hopefully you remember that when I say it. Okay, so this is called um, Montreal Shiva. Around the table, low, lower, lowest, brought so by grief and special chairs, the first degree mourners, the Abel, struggle to eat, struggle to reach the funeral table and to want to. Unwashed, unshaven, unshampooed, each with a kariah, reminding them of their purpose, they exchange earthly cares for spiritual ones. Into the circle come companions, doctors, rabbis, relatives and friends. From near and far, they gather as one, in a mitzvah of compassion. Hamok kom yenakem et kem betot she'ar avalai zion bi yerushleim. May the omnipresent comfort you together with the other mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. These words of consolation remind me why we are here in this house, reminiscing, waiting, weeping. We're sitting shiva timelessly. Later, as I prepare to take leave of cousin and place, washroom mirrors hide my tear-stained reflection behind concealing towels. Strains of the mourner's Kaddish follow me on the long drive home. Mm -hmm.